Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. Oh, it is time to cook today, guys. I have a very special episode for you. I'm getting ready to go to my sister's house for Christmas, and I'm going to be making a couple of our favorites. I'm going to make some eggnog and a delicious jello mold. Now, we do have a very large family. When we all get together, there's like over 20 to 25 people and it can get pretty crazy I'm not gonna lie but we're nothing like the Griswolds or anything but I wanted to invite you to come along with us come with us to our family Christmas vacation okay so the first thing that I'm going to make is the jello mold um, and I'm sorry Adam is he's in the living room right now watching Christmas vacation I'm sure you could probably hear that but that's okay. I'm just gonna go over these ingredients with you and show you how to make this delicious jello mold. So you will need three packages of lime jello and then one eight ounce package of cream cheese. And then you'll need three 15 ounce uh, cans of fruit cocktail, three fourths of a cup of uh, mayonnaise, three cups of water, and one cup of chopped pecans. So I'm going to add all three packages of lime jello to my cream cheese. And then just blend until it is smooth and creamy. And now I'm going to begin to add the boiling water gradually, just a little bit at a time. And I am mixing after every time I add some. Then cover and refrigerate for an hour. After it has chilled for an hour, add your mayonnaise. And stir. Then add your fruit and your chopped nuts and stir again. So now I'm going to take a butt pan. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick spray. <laughs> and then I'm going to pour this jello mixture into my butt pan. Cover and chill for three to four hours until firm and set. So next, I'm going to make some delicious eggnog. Now, if you have never had homemade eggnog, you do not know what you're missing. Sorry. This is so easy to make. Let me go over these ingredients with you and show you just how to make it. So you will need three cups of milk, a half of a cup of sugar, two cups of heavy cream or half and half, and then you will need three whole eggs and three egg yolks. Then one teaspoon of ground nutmeg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then a pinch of salt. Now I am actually going to double this recipe because one recipe is just not enough for my family. All right, so that's a total of six cups of milk and one cup of sugar. So I'm gonna turn on the heat to a medium, a medium heat, and I'm going to bring this up until it just starts to simmer. All right, so it is just on the verge of getting ready to simmer. You can see a little bit of bubbles along the edge. So it is time to uh, add it to our eggs. 
What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of this at a time. This is called tempering your eggs. You don't want to pour that all in at once or it'll scramble your eggs. So just add a little bit at a time. Good, now I'm gonna add this back in. So I'm going to go ahead and add a pinch of salt and then I'm going to add my nutmeg and then I'm going to turn the heat back on and I'm going to let this cook for an additional five minutes stirring constantly and this will thicken slightly. It has thickened slightly as you can see it has coated the back of the spoon and that's what we're looking for and I'm going to add my vanilla extract and then I'm going to add my two cups of half and half which since I've doubled it it'll be four which you can also use heavy cream and heavy cream is more traditional but I want to decrease a little bit of the calories <laughs> not that it's going to matter a whole lot but so then the only thing left to do is to let this chill but before I do that I like to just run it through a strainer just to make sure there's no big clumps of egg or anything like that that could be in it so that's what I'm gonna do now Dear, they want you to say the blessing. Do what? They want you to say the blessing. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. 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 Well, maybe my family is like the Griswolds. 